everyone. How are you this evening? Hi, everybody. Jeanette from Boricua Sewing Crafts. How are you? I see a lot of people have been logging on today. I am pretty excited. I have to tell you, I cannot wait for 8 o'clock to come because I had ordered something. I asked for it to be custom made for the Brother SC1900, and I have been wanting to open it since it got here. I got the package today at around like three o'clock. I think it was like three o'clock, something like that. I posted it on Facebook right after I got it. And I have been itching to open it. And I ain't gonna lie, I was even thinking about doing like what I usually do for Christmas every year where, you know, I go with an X-Acto knife and I open up my gifts and then I peek and then I retape them, you know? <laughs> but I was like, nope, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it and stuff because that's not right. So. I held on. Okay, so the package is behind me, and um, I can't wait to get it, so, you know, to open it up and stuff like that. So I know that sometimes a lot of people, they log on a little late and stuff like that. So I'm just going to wait just like maybe one more minute, okay, because I can't hold off anymore because I want to open up this box. But um, before we open up the box, I need to celebrate because... I have been waiting for this for quite some time. And I really want to give out a shout out to um, the gentleman who made this for me. His name is Matt. He has an Etsy shop and it's called Matt Woodworking Shop. And, you know, I mean, he was so, so super nice because, boy, did I ask a lot of questions. I kept reaching out to him going, well, how do you measure this? And what do you mean? You need the measurement of what, you know? So I know I drove that man crazy, <laughs> but he was so, so nice and he was patient and everything. So I just hope that I gave him the right measurements and stuff like that. So uh, before I open it, I am going to open up my Tarara wine because I saw that some of you guys on Facebook were talking about, I am chilling my wine right now. So I am opening up this baby. Um, Tarara Wine is a winery that's by my house. Um, it's not real by by it, but it's like about, I think it's like eh, maybe like 20, 25 minute drive. But, and their wines are really, really good. So if you're ever in Virginia, I recommend them. The only thing that I say about their wines though, is that their alcohol content on their wine is kind of high, you know? So... <laughs> One bottle will give you a buzz for the night. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but salute. So, mm -mm -mm. this is a 2017 rose. Oh, this is really good. Okay. But I'm not going to drink a lot because like I said, this bottle is at um 13.5 and I'll probably open the wrong box. Okay. So, I am going to open up my box now because I cannot wait anymore. Okay. So. This is how it came, and I will tell you, he it, he packed it up on this really cute, um, it's really cute. I never saw this before. This is the first time. Um, look, the tape is from the Etsy thing, so I thought that was really, really, really cool. So I'm going to open it up. Let's see what it looks like. I am pretty psyched, and I can see he... He taped this up pretty good. So he was like, this is not going to get damaged anywhere. So let's see um, let's see how it opens. Oh, man. You <laughs> he taped this up really good. It might take the whole hour to open it. I'm excited. Okay. Okay. Man. Okay. All right. I think I got in here man this is like a puzzle okay all right i'm still opening i don't want to damage anything okay all right i got this side pretty good okay got it Ooh, this is nice all right, I think I can pull it out. Nope, can't pull it out. Okay. How do I might have to just give me a minute, guys. I think I was supposed to cut from here. Let's 
Yep. Oh. Oh, I love the color. Okay. Let me pull it out. Oh, this is nice. Very nice. I love the car. Oh, it has feet. Put feet on it. Oh. Okay. Let me take the plastic off because I know, I know right now you guys are probably saying, what the heck is that? Okay. Hold on. I'm taking off the plastic. So. Some of you guys have posted on Facebook that, because you guys were like guessing, and I kept my mouth shut because I didn't want, I didn't want to say it. But some of you guys did guess it correctly. This is called a riser, an embroidery riser. And what happened was that one of the happy hours that we had when we were talking, right, I was talking about my multi needle machine. And one of the things that I mentioned was that I wanted, wow, this is really packed up good, which in a way I like because that makes sure that it's not damaged or anything when they nail it because, you know, I love the post office folks, but sometimes what happens is, you know, they don't, they, you know, I mean, they have a lot of stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes they, wow, this is, oh, this guy did a really good job. Wow. I love it. Oh, God, it's like I want to use it now. Okay, so much for happy hour. Got to go. Bye. Let me stop. <laughs> oh, I want to use this. He really packaged this up really good. Man, it's going to take the whole um, long time just to unpackage it. Very nice. Totally impressed. I just got to get the stuff off. All right. Just hold on there, guys. because we're. I'll give you guys a close-up so you guys can see what it looks like. And I'm actually going to put the machine on it so you guys can see how this works. I mean, it's a total... Man, this is really... Okay, got this off. And I got... Oh, and it came with a drawer. Okay. I know I put this on top of the thing. All right, let me take the plastic off the drawer now. Um... This is really, he did a really good job packaging this because I really like the care that was taken into this. You can tell. Oh, this is just, this comes with a drawer. All right, I don't want to. Oh, this is nice. It comes with a drawer, it goes right in here. Oh, beautiful. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you guys a close up because I want you guys to really, really see this. This is really, really nice, okay? Oh my God. Okay, I got this from an Etsy shop. Um, This, okay, it's wood. Okay, and it's called an embroidery riser, okay? So you would put your machine on top of it. And what it is, is it helps lift the machine. So like, let's say you're embroidering a shirt or something, you could have the back of the shirt hang right here instead of you having a flangle with it, you know? So it just kind of like makes it a lot easier. I really, man, He's this. I'm blown away. I mean, the quality is heavy. The wood, you can tell it's very, very thick. I mean, I love the color. Um, and I I got it right off the of Etsy. And look, he put feet on it, his feet right on it and stuff, and it has a draw. Now, 
I'm gonna tell you what I, I spoke to him about this and he said I, he could make it with two draws or one. Um, I wanted the one, I was happy with the one and stuff. And I'm gonna put the SC1900 on it cause I wanna see what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna carry it over and stuff so that you guys can see. I hope you guys can see. Okay. Um, all right, cause I did unplug my machine. Perfect. I got the measurements right. Oh my God, this is perfect. I'm sorry. <laughs> so there you go. This is what I got and this is what I love. Let's say you hoop something, right? A shirt. And then all you have to do is then you just put the shirt underneath here. And then it makes it very, very easy to embroider. Okay, so I mean, this is, I love it. I love it. It's a game changer for me. It really is. Because one of the things, if you guys, um, in, in one of the happy hours that I did, and I think it was like four happy hours ago, something like that, I had mentioned, and, and it was you guys that told me about this, okay? It was it was like one of you, one of you, somebody out there told me. I said the thing, the only flaw, that I saw in this machine is that it's a flat bed. And when it's a flat bed, sometimes when you're embroidering, it kind of limits things because then what happens is you have to take a shirt and if you're embroidering a shirt, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta kind of lift it up. And with this, it's like you can take a shirt and you can embroider it. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna take a hoop and I got a little kid's shirt. Let me grab a little kid's shirt and let's, I'm gonna show you exactly how you would do this, okay? So let me grab one, cause I, I have one. Okay, here we go. Here's like a, a kid's shirt. This doesn't have to be a kid's shirt. It could be a, a shirt for, for you, okay? So you're gonna take this. This is the uh, magnetic hoop. And I got sticky stabilizer on it. You could tell I was embroidering before. <laughs> So anyway, um, I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna snap it. Snap it in. I always have an issue with my uh, magnetic hoop. There you go. Okay, so like, let's say I want a broader person's name, right? So what I would do is I would take the shirt and I would go this side. And then you could just go like this. And there you go. You can embroider the person's name. I mean, of course you'll do it much neater. I'm just rushing, you know. But see, it just, you can have stuff hang here. And of course, this is a kiss shirt. So the kiss shirt, see how much easier? So of course, you know, you'll hoop it and stuff. But look, the kiss shirt goes right underneath, and then this is the side that you're embroidering on, and then you would just have the machine, and then you would just embroider. So to me, it's like this is just so much easier. And, you know, the bigger the shirt, of course, the, the more room you'll have to finagle in here because, you know, you, you got to remember there there is still something that nobody can do about is that in this machine, you have this bar, right, where it holds the, the, the hoop. So, of course, that's always going to kind of limit you a little bit. As for with the multi-needle machine, all you have is the is the bar that goes towards you. So, you have nothing on the side except just a hoop. So, you know, but love it, love it, love it, okay? Um, what happened was at, at, at the embroidery um, happy hour, one of you guys came out and said, you know, um, told me about the embroidery um, riser. So I was like, what is that? I've never heard of that, right? So I went and I Googled it, okay? Now, I saw some embroidery risers that were done in plastic, and um, they were hmm, they were okay, reasonably priced or whatever, but they, they were kind of plasticky. And I was kind of like, I want something that's really going to be sturdy, right? So I went on Etsy, and then I um, did a search for embroidery risers. Now, there were a, a couple of people that were selling embroidery risers, but this um, gentleman's um, 
you know, Matt, his his um kind of really stuck out to me. The reason why it stuck out to me was because he had pictured his in a color purple. So it's like, you know, to me, it's like he didn't just create it. All everybody else was creating their risers, but they were doing it in um, you know, they weren't paying them and they were kind of like uh, you know, just the the wood the wood color, right? So you would get it like an oak or something like that, right? And to me, I, as you can see behind me, you know, I got my walls yellow and all that kind of stuff. I love color, right? And I saw that he actually paints his and he'll paint it whatever color you want, okay? All you have to do is just let him know what you want and, you know, and he'll work with you. So I thought that was pretty cool on his, on, um, on the Etsy ad, he had a purple one. But I wanted to get a red one because I have a sewing mat that I purchased from another lady that does the um, sewing mats on Etsy. Because I love to shop at Etsy because I have an Etsy store. So I like to support other Etsy store owners also. So, you know, um, when I saw his, um, you know, I don't know. I just love it. I, I could tell, I could tell that this is like, this is going to last me for a very long time. I can tell. I mean, this is not, I mean, look at the draw. I mean, this is thick wood. This is not, this is not cheap. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can tell that he did a lot of good work on this. I mean, you know, so Matt, if you are watching, I mean, thank you. I love it. Love it. Love it. I'm telling you, um, you're the bomb. Okay. <laughs> I am going to always be thanking you every time that I am, I, I use, I, you know, I, I'm in bordering now because for now on, this is going to be, you know, my, my embroidery machine will always be on this. So it's like, wow. I'm like, I love it. I love that it has a draw in there for you to like, you know, you can put your embroidery scissors in there. You can put some extra bobbins in there and you know what I'm saying? I just love that. This is very, very handy. Um, you know, and I really love that you have this. So if, if you ever are embroidering and you need that extra space, I mean, you have it right here. So I think this is really awesome. So to me, this is a game changer. And I can't wait for this weekend because I am actually going to use it. And what I will do is I will do a video on showing how I am using this, um, this in a um, you know, embroidery riser. So if you guys are interested, okay, it's an Etsy shop and the Etsy shop's name is Matt's Wood, Matt's Woodworking Shop. So, you know, really nice guy. Um, all you, you know, if you, if you have an SC, a brother SC 1900 and you want to order one for your brother SC 1900, just tell him, hey, it's the one that you made for Jeanette because He's got my measurements down pat. So if, if you're, if you're, you know, if you have the same machine that I have, then it should, it should work. It'll be the same and stuff. And he'll be able to make one for you and stuff. Now, the only thing though, is that I do want to warn, I did have to wait a little bit for it because, you know, he, he makes these custom made, he makes them himself. Okay. So it's just him working. So, you know, you know which I'm okay with. I don't mind work waiting for my product as long as I know that I'm going to get good quality, you know? And he had five-star reviews in his shop. And I saw some of the other um, embroidery risers that he did for his other customers. They posted um, pictures on his shop. And I'm going to be posting my picture on there too um, to give him his review. And, um, you know, they all look beautiful. They had, you know, I think somebody got a purple one and they had different colors and stuff. So they all look really gorgeous. And I'm going to be honest, I just, you know, when I saw all the other um, embroidery risers, they looked nice too. But I just really felt that his was really unique. And, you know, the pictures that I saw. And then when I saw, looked at his reviews and I saw all, all the other folks that um, got their risers from him. Um, they came out really, really cute. And I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm going to give this guy a shot. And, um, you know, out of quit incidents too, I want to mention this also. Um, on the Facebook group, I had posted a video of a young woman that um, she had the red line machine and she was having issues with it, right? Well, 
I did not know, but that is actually his wife. <laughs> and it was so funny because I had told him when he told me that he was shipping out my riser, I said, oh, that's great. I hope I get it in time for next Friday because I really want to unbox it. And I want to show the viewers what an embroidery riser looks like because this isn't really something that you hear a lot of people talk about, right? So I really wanted to show it on my YouTube channel. And then he said, oh, my wife has a YouTube channel. And when he she he told me about the, um, he showed me the, the channel for his wife, I was like, oh my God. And then I told him, I said, oh my God, I, I posted her video when she talks about the, the, you know, the challenges she was having with her red line machine, you know, because I was telling him that, you know, I really wanted people to just be careful out there um, when you're buying your, your next machine, especially a uh, multi-needle because you're talking about thousands of dollars and you want to make sure you make the right decision for yourself. So anyway, but it was just a small world, you know, coincidence and stuff. So anyway, um, you know, but anyway, I am, I'm excited. I am excited. I'm excited. This is going to be, look so nice and I can't wait, um, to use it. And I'm going to use it this weekend because I'm going to embroider a shirt for my cousin because her birthday's coming up and I need to make her a shirt. So I'm going to be doing it on this, on my riser. So, and I'll, and I'll videotape it also so you guys can see how it works and all that kind of stuff. Um, I also wanted to tell you something else that I got as well. Okay. Um, it was um, something that, you know, it's not, uh, you know, it's, it's just something that I wanted to splurge on myself for. Um, I usually get the wooden racks to hold my embroidery thread, right? They're pretty affordable. They're not expensive at all. And, you know, and, and those are the ones that are hanging on my wall. So, you know, I have been, you know, I got my little sewing room and stuff, but sometimes I feel like I'm trying to get it nice and neat. You know, sometimes you see these folks and they have these gorgeous, gorgeous craft rooms, right? And they look so neat and clean. And sometimes I wonder, do they do anything in there? You know, <laughs> because I know one thing, I know like when I clean this room, automatically, as soon as I start working, everything's a mess too. Like I got fabric everywhere and all that kind of stuff. So it's just like, oh, and I was like, I want a room like that. But little by little, I'm trying to replace certain things with nicer stuff, right? So anyway, um, you know, I wanted to replace the um, spool racks, right? And I saw that they sell these and they have these plastic ones. And I, I thought, oh, these are looking pretty good. Now, I got it today. No, yeah, I got it today also. So um, I was putting it together. Now, I'm going to tell you something. These are not exactly, um, uh, you know, like cool to kind of put together because each of these things have to get screwed in. Okay, so I had to screw this one in, then this one in, then this one in, this one in, this one in. And I'm kind of like, Ugh. so by the time I was done with this, I was kind of like, I'm tired, you know? <laughs> so, but it does look nice. And I, and I feel like it gives it a cleaner look than the wooden ones, uh, but it works its purpose. And the thing is, I'm not getting rid of my wooden ones uh, because the thing is, honestly, I need more racks because what's happening is I'm getting more threats. I still have the box over there with the, um, the, I think it's the Thread Nanny, where it had, I believe it was like 150 or 200 and something threads, it's a whole big box over there, of small ones. I still, I want to get them out of there, because that way I like to expose my threads, because when I'm embroidering and I'm looking for a particular color, I like to, I like to have them on the wall, so that way I can kind of scan through and then see what's the color that best fit a design that I'm trying to embroider. Um, so I always like to have my threads out so I can see them. Now, I also wanted to tell you something about these. I was looking at these on Amazon. They were pretty expensive, but then I needed to buy some thread from allstitch.com. These racks, I actually got them from allstitch.com all stitch because at allstitch.com, they were priced at $29.75, right? 
And when I looked at the same thing on Amazon, they were $33, right? So I was like, oh, they cost more on Amazon. But the thing is, it was Amazon Prime. So I'm thinking, okay, Amazon Prime, you know, they ship free. But the thing is, it's like, hmm, I didn't want to pay $33 when I knew in all stitch they were $29. So what I did was because I had to buy the thread anyway, because, you know, I like to do my dinner napkins and gold is such a popular color when it comes to the dinner napkins, especially when I'm doing dinner napkins with ivory and black. Um, people love the gold color because and, and I don't blame them because it does. It, it gives it a really rich look. So I started running low on the gold and I said, OK. And, it, and I had the, the small threads. So like I was saying before, um, I usually start with a, you know, a, a set of threads. And usually they're, they're the small ones. You know, they're not the big ones. But then as I start to run out of a particular color, I like to replace those small threads with the big combs. Because I know that that's a color that I usually use a lot. Um, I don't just like to go out and just buy a whole bunch of big combs of different colors, I just really like to focus on getting the ones that I know that I, I always constantly use, like the gold and the white and the black that I will always get in the big in the big combs. Um, the red, uh, the deep blue, uh, the, the green, because, you know, in Christmas, those are colors that people use a lot is the red and the green and the gold and the white, you know, for wreaths and all that kind of stuff. So I always like to um, get common, the, the colors that you use a lot. I get them in the big comb for the, you know, the other stuff. The small combs are, are usually sufficient. The only times I'll replace them is if I, you know, if I'm running low. Okay. So, you know, I really wanted to show you guys this thing. I am really, really, I'm, I'm psyched. I'm psyched. This is like really, it's nice. It's really, really, really nice. I mean, I really, really love it. So, um, Matt, if you're watching, thank you so much, man. I mean, this is, you did a really, really, really good job. You really did. It. I mean, love it. Love it. Okay. Truly love it. So, um, let me see. Uh, oh, Oh, Matt's watching. Oh, cool. I just saw him. My wife posted the link in here. It should be under Matt's Woodwalking Shop. I'm located in a middle school math teacher of the day and weekends, and I make things with wood. Yes. And, and you know, another thing, too. Oh, Matt, you will be getting another order from me. Um, one thing that I noticed in his shop, because I was looking at his shop um, this, today, he actually makes a wooden, um, it's like a wooden slack for you to put your rulers in. So, you know, I was kind of like, oh, I need one of those. So I'm going to be putting an order in for that. So, <laughs> and I'm not sure if he colors them too or whatever, but I need one. So, you know, I'm going to be putting that. Um, you'll probably hear a new ching ching on your uh, Etsy shop soon because I, I need one of those. So, I mean, he's really nice guy. I'm telling you, just email him, you know, if, if you're interested in getting in getting something like that. Just go to his Etsy shop, email him. I'm telling you, he will work with you. I mean, I have, there's absolutely no regret. I see no flaws on this thing. I mean, you could tell, pay very close attention to detail. I mean, really, really, it's solid. It's, it's so, so solid. I love it. I really do. And I love the draw. I just love, I just love having the draw because, I mean, I could just see, I could put my embroidery scissors in here and, and pins and so, I mean, this is really, really nice. I mean, God, what a good job. I'm telling you, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So, you know, um, this was my big thing. <laughs> Got the package at three and I held off. I held off and stuff. I did, I, you know, and you know what? There is no way I was gonna be able to repackage that thing the way that Matt did because he really, he put so much stuff on there. But it's perfect. And I really love that because that means that he really cared to make sure that when it got to me, it wasn't damaged or broken or anything like that. So I really, I appreciate that. I think that's awesome and stuff. So let's see what else I got for you guys. Let me show you guys some of the things also that I have been working on because you know me, I'm always doing something. Um, got a new design for a new kitchen towel. 
you know, I'm all big into the um, La Cocina de Abuela, you know, stuff. So I decided to make this one. And this one came out really cute and stuff. I got the design off of the Etsy because, like I said, I love to buy and support other, um, other you know, shop owners on Etsy and stuff. And then I just put my little thing in there. So I thought this was cute. And then something dawned on me. A girlfriend of mine had asked me to make her an apron, right? And when I made the apron, I bought like a pack of 24. So I made the one apron for her. And then I had 23 aprons in my, um, you know, in my blanks area. And then I said, you know, I was looking at it and I was like, what would I do with it? And then all of a sudden I, I was looking at the towels and I said, you know what? I can do an apron and put the same designs that have been selling for my towels. So this is usually, this is something that I usually have on my kitchen towel. So I went and I just put it on my, on the apron. And then I figured, oh, la cocina de abuela. So, you know, I'm like, hmm. You know, so I don't know. So it's something else that I'm going to put on my Etsy shop and I'm going to see how it works. You know, so, I mean, you never know. I mean, I don't know. You know, I, I know that people are big with the aprons when they do like barbecues and stuff like that. I think it's usually the guys that do that. I'm going to be honest, me in the kitchen, I never wear an apron, you know, which that probably explains why a lot of my blouses have spots in them, you know, <laughs> because when I'm putting the sazon and everything on the on the meat and all that stuff and I'm seasoning it and everything, it probably splashes and it gets on my white shirt and I'm kind of and then, you know, once you get a dirt on your white shirt and even though I don't, you know, you put it in Clorox and all that kind of stuff, it never comes back the same. You always got that little bit of thing. So maybe... Yeah, yeah, maybe I need to start using an apron and stuff, say some of my clothes and all that stuff. But um, but I don't know too many people I use them really, you know. So, but the thing is, I, I'm like, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some of the towels designs that I have and I'm gonna put them on an apron. And this is um, you know, an idea for you guys too. It's a cute gift for somebody if you guys, you know, this is very easy to do on your machine because if you really think about it, it's flat. So there is nothing, you know, it's, it's like, it's like doing a towel, it's flat. So all you have to do is just, you know, lay it on, on there and just in water and stuff. So this is very, very easy to do. So, you know, I would, um, think about it, you know, and they're, they're very inexpensive. I got, I got this pack from, um, Amazon and I don't think I spent too much. Um, a lot of people ask me, where do I get my blanks from? Um, I have to be honest, I usually um, get my blanks from Amazon, especially the kitchen towels. I like those on Amazon. So if you check out my Amazon um, storefront, you'll see um, I usually link all, all the stuff that I use and all the blanks and everything like that if you go on my Amazon um, store, the storefront. So, you know, that way you guys can order it if you want and stuff. And another thing too, um, if you want to go get blanks from another place, you can go to the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree has a lot of stuff like oven mitts and stuff that you could use to embroider. Um, the oven mitts, you would have to probably just remove the seam and then embroider it and then sew it back up. Very similar to what I did. If you look at the the video where I, I embroidered the Christmas stockings, you know, sometimes you just have to pull certain things apart and then embroider it and then just re-sew it. Um, Dollar Tree, um, sometimes you can go to Kohl's or stuff. Um, my onesies, at first I was using the Gerber, okay? But then um, I, the material, it just seems really, really thin. So then I went to Kohl's. Cause I was there, cause I had, you know, Kohl's also accepts returns from Amazon. Like sometimes I, I go to Am, I buy things from Amazon, don't work out, and I'll just return. That's one thing that I do like about Amazon that you can easily return. So I went to Kohl's, and then when I walked by the little kids section, I was looking at their onesies, and they had Carter. They had Carter onesies, and when I looked at the Carter onesies, I noticed that the onesies were kind of thicker. The material was a lot thicker. It just felt a lot better. And I, I had an order for a onesie. And um, because I didn't have the particular size that the customer wanted, they wanted the 18 months. 
and I had the smaller sizes, I, I said, you know what, I'm going to get a Carter. And then I got the Carter and then I used that to embroider. And I thought that one was a lot better actually to embroider than the, um, the Gerber. I mean, the Gerber wasn't bad, but I just, for some reason, I felt the Carter brand was just a better texture and it just felt really, really good. So, um, I usually, you know, if you go to stores, um, just Walmart, go to Walmart, Walmart always has little blanks, little beach towels and stuff. And you know, what's really bad about embroidering. I'm going to tell you, this is something that, you know, I get on, I get on a lot of people's nerves when they don't like going shopping with me because what happens is when you, when you know how to sew and you know how to embroider, right. And then, um, you go to a store and, you know, like I'll give you an example, Betty, we went to Macy's. Okay. And my cousin Betty had picked up a t-shirt and the t-shirt was a cute t-shirt. Okay. And on the t-shirt, on the size, on the cuffs, it had like lace, right? And then, you know, I looked at it, you know how you always turn things inside out. You looked at it and I was like, wait a minute. All they did was they took lace and they just sewed it on the cuff of the shirt. So I was like, how much was that shirt? And she was like, oh, they want $35. I was like, $35? I said, you could get a shirt at Michael's for $3 and I could buy lace. Okay, that's probably going to cost me another two bucks. And then I'll cut the lace and then I'll sew it around the, the sleeves for you. And there you go. You got the same shirt and you didn't pay $35. You just paid like five bucks, you know. So, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, she kind of like put it back and she was kind of like, you know. But the thing is, it's, it's kind of true. It's like once you start learning how to embroider and sew and then you go to these stores and you see some of the stuff. A lot of times you're like, oh, that's cute. But then I, I don't know if you do this, but I know I do. I'll look at it and I'm trying to figure out how do they make it and how can I duplicate it? Because I don't want to spend that much money. So I just I, I you know, I want it, but I, I, I'd rather bake it myself. You know, so it's just it's just me, you know, it's just me and, and how I do and stuff. So um, I also wanted to show you guys something that I did, too. I did this, okay? Um, a lot of times when people sew, they use um, weights. They use they, they call it fabric weights, and fabric weights is what they put down on the fabric while they're trying to cut, so that way the, the fabric doesn't shift too much and stuff. So usually you're looking for, like, really cute fabric weights. So I saw something on Amazon where a lady, she um, bought tile, and which is this. This is a 4 by 4 tile, and then she took Mod Podge, and she put uh, Mod Podge on here. She took a piece of fabric, put it on top, and then she put the, you know, the Mod Pop on top, left it overnight. And then she was like, look, you got a fabric weight, right? And then she also did the Mod Pop in the back, and then she put felt, right? So I was thinking, oh, I can do that, right? So I went to uh, Lowe's. These are really cheap. They're about like hmm, 20 cents, right? So I did it. Um, did the Mod Podge, look at the back, this is the felt, this is cute. Put the front, I, it, you know, this is leftover fabric that I had, okay? This is, you know, it was scrap. Um, and then I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, this is really cool. But um, I don't know if I did it right or whatever, but look, now it like peels. So it didn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, the back of the fabric now is kind of sticky because of all the Mod Podge. So this kind of like, this was like a project fail for me. So I was kind of like, oh, that sucks. And I'm like, oh, well, I mean, I'll probably try again because, you know, I didn't just buy one tile. I bought several, you know, because I was thinking, oh, if they come out really nice and, you know, they look really nice you know, durable and stuff like that. I was thinking I could probably put this on my Etsy shop and sell it and make um, little um, fabric weights for, for people. Um, but I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't sell this for the simple fact that I could just see that somebody gets it. And then after like two or three days of using it, then they'll be like, oh, it peeled right off, you know, <laughs> which is, yeah, it did. it did. So, you don't, you know, that is one thing. If you have an Etsy shop and you, and you are selling stuff, make sure that you are selling something that's very durable and it's going to last. And 
because you don't want you don't want bad reviews on your shop. You really don't. Um, and you know you could end up getting your shop your your shop will um, shut down because if you get a lot of bad reviews, then Etsy will go in there and they will shut down your shop. And at the same time, you know, then people are going to be asking for their money back. And then it's like, you just wasted a lot of money. So anyway, so this is a not a project uh, that I will, um, that I'm kind of proud of, you know. It's like, uh, it's all right. But I wanted to share it. It was something, you know, if you go on YouTube, you could probably type up fabric weights. And, um, you know, they have some channels where people make these, but um, it didn't work for me. So I'm kind of like, hmm. It's okay. I mean, that's fine and stuff. I mean, another thing that people do for fabric weights instead of doing the towel is that they use washers. Um, and, you know, usually they double up. This didn't work for me either because, <laughs> because they usually, you know, I put glue, right? And then I went to glue the two washers together. And then um, I took like fabric and I just went around, you know, and tied a little thing and I used it as like a fabric weight. But then, um, as you can see, the glue kind of like got off and, you know, I was like, eh. so, I mean, it's still not bad. I can still put a fabric around it and put a, a, a little bow on it and stuff like that and still use it. I mean, it has a good weight on it, too. And so, and I got to be honest with you, I think these, and these are the, um, the, you could get these at Lowe's real cheap. These are just washers. That's all it is. You're looking for big washers. Um, get two, glue them together. Or just uh, put a little fabric, you know, I'll, I'll do a video and show you how I'm going to do the fabric and decorate these real cute. And these are perfect weight for you to use while you're sewing. Um, you know, you don't need to buy anything fancy. And these are very inexpensive. These are not expensive at all. I mean, God, you can, I think they're like, what, a quarter or something like that. So it's like, why, why go all out, you know? I was just trying to see if I could get something really cute and stuff. Because sometimes when you have really, uh, you know, cute stuff, it kind of, you know, helps with, you know, getting, you know, you fall in love with your room. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like plain, but I'll decorate them. I'll decorate them and stuff like that. So I'm going to go out because it is 842. And let me go out there and see what is out there. You know, if you guys have questions and stuff like that. And I am really, really excited because I don't know if you guys know the YouTube channel. I got over 2,400 subscribers. So if you're new, please do subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And you guys know I'm here every Friday, 8 o'clock and stuff. So, um, you know, let me see if you guys have any questions and stuff like that. Oh, I got people from, let's see. So, so on. Man, so, so on. She was on for a long time. Her and Cheryl. And Cheryl, I want to tell you, Cheryl has been posting. I mean, she has been doing such great stuff. I mean, she. I think she just recently got her machine and she's been doing hats and all that kind of stuff. And she's been posting them on our Facebook group. So if you guys don't know, we have a Facebook group. It's called um, ha Embroidery Happy Hour Adventures. And stuff. And Cheryl, I mean, you have been doing amazing. I mean, it's like, I love, I love, love, love her stuff. I mean, it's like so cool. Hey, Elvis and KJ, how you doing? Hey, hey, Renee. Hey, Robin. I got Catherine, Christine. I was watching older videos today. I noticed you now have over 25,000 views now. Wow, 25,000 views. What video are you watching? You sure you're watching my video? Christian, you gotta let me know which one it is because I don't know which one has twenty five thousand. I'm like, wow, okay. I know, I'm shocked too. I need to know which one it is. Hey, Kathy, Cheryl. I got Jennifer, Tracy, Miss Magic, Miss Solomon. Matt's right there with the wifey, and she has her own YouTube channel too. Also, I think it's um. Nikki's crafty, crafty wife, something like that. She's the one that that we watched where she was having such a hard time with the the red line and stuff. But and um, Nikki, if you are watching, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for posting that. Um, you know, as every you know, as as I said before, I have a multi needle. I have the brother six needle, and um, I have been toying with the idea 
of trying to go a little bigger, maybe get a 10 needle or a 15 needle. And there's just so many companies out there, you know, Wacoma, Milko, the red line and stuff. And, you know, you just don't know what to pick. And you and, and the problem that I have is you don't know who to trust either. Because, you know, it's like when you're, when you know, when you're, when you're buying something, everybody always tells you it's great. But then once you give them your money, it's like people disappear. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know, um, you know, how it is. So I know I, I've had very good luck with my brother. But the thing is, I bought it from the sewing shop and I'm getting all my support from the sewing shop. And I also know that brother is pretty pricey. And um, and I and I'm sure it's probably pricey because you know they're sold by the sewing shop. So of course they have to make a, a little bit of profit and stuff like that. But I like the support. And um the more I think about it, you know, I know I you know I don't like to be branding specific, but the thing is I am also a firm believer that when you know that something works really well for you, sometimes you sh should stick to it. But at the same time, I don't want to be afraid to venture off and see, you know, because sometimes by you being blind and just saying, I love this product and I don't want to go somewhere else, you, you don't venture off. And then you could be missing out on getting a better machine. But it's just really, really hard for me to um, to see really what is a a better machine. So, um, Redline, I know it's, I, I'm crossing that off my list. Wacoma, I'm crossing it off my list. Melco, I'm still not sure. So, um, I don't know. We're going to see, but I'm, I'm not going to go and jump to a 10 or a 15 needle machine until the end of this year. I told myself, I'm going to give myself to the end of this year and then look to see where I am in my Etsy shop, am I am I really pulling in a lot of orders? And if I'm pulling in too many orders that maybe this, you know, I, I need a bigger machine, then that's fine. Then I'm gonna do that. If not, then I'm gonna stay with what I got because I mean this machine works great. I mean, you know, I ha do have to take it in for maintenance next month, but that's just for annual maintenance. It's not that there's anything wrong with it. It works great. So um, you know, but thank you so much though for posting that. I really appreciate that. And stuff. So um let's see. Hey uh Maritza, Cindy, Miss Anna. Is the wine sweet or dry? Sure. I you know what? I really don't know. I'm just so excited about my embroidery rise. I ain't even let me see. okay, Cheryl. Let me try out. It's sweet. It's sweet. It is. I'm telling you, this winery, you got to be careful with them <laughs> because their alcohol level is high. So it's like you could be drinking in, drinking in before you know it. It's like the room is spinning. So, um, but Shell is sweet. I got some sweet wine and stuff. Hey, Lisa from North Carolina. My wife hooked me up with the Etsy tape. Well, so she did. I mean, I'm like, where did you get that Etsy tape from? Because I've never seen it before. It's the first time I've ever saw that. And I was like, that is pretty neat. That is really, really neat and stuff. So she did a good job, man. <laughs> oh, somebody's from the Bahamas. Hey, Maria. Jealous. I'm in the cold. I'm in Virginia. <laughs> we got snow and. Um, pretty cold a lot of ice and stuff but it's okay you know i i like the, the all the seasons i enjoy it so hello from texas oh i hope you're not in the the cold in texas because i know texas is having some issues and man praying for you guys and then i'm gonna be honest me and my husband were thinking about retiring in texas and then when we saw the snow in texas we we're like okay we're not gonna think we'll probably figure out another state to go I don't know where we're going to end up. Harmony King. Yes, Harmony. It's a riser. Love it. And I and I love my riser. It's my new toy. <laughs> I can't wait to start embroidering on it. What's that? I guessed right. Yes, Kathy, you did. You and the other Kathy. They put it on Facebook and they were like, I bet you she got her riser. Because I think you guys probably heard me when I said a riser. Well, then I got to get one of those things. 
And um, I looked it up and it, and I was like, oh, that is, that's a game changer. That is like, cause it, it will make embroidering a lot easier. It really, really will. So I'm going to do some videos on it so you guys can see and stuff. And then, um, and I will always, Matt, don't worry. I will always let people know to reach out to you and stuff. So um, I love the, yes, Casey, I love the color too. I love the red and stuff. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Haven't seen you in a while. That's the can't wait to see you use it. Yes, Cindy, I can't wait to see it either. Give us your shop name. Well, Christian, Matt's shop name is um, Matt's Woodworking Shop and stuff. And my shop name is um, Unique Designs Number Four U LLC. All right, that's and and I always have it linked on my videos and stuff. Um, and I'll also um you know, link Matt's shop also. So that way, you know, and I'll put it in, in the description. If, if you're looking for the embroidery um, riser, this is where you go. This is the, the shop, so you go and stuff. Wow, I see how that would be helpful. Hey, Robin, yes, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what? I may forget about the six needle machine. I'm gonna be playing with this baby now because <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I, it's all about the riser. <laughs> it looks great in your space, so neat. Matt, thank you so much. She has no idea how grateful I am. And I know I drove you crazy with all those questions in the beginning. <laughs> We're talking about the size and all that kind of stuff. I'm just terrible with numbers. But it looks like we got it right. It looks perfect. Just perfect. Hey, Lucky Lucy. Cheryl, okay. Does this make the arm drag? There's a little, there's a t-shirt over it. Does it make the arm drag? If you have, okay, so I will do, I'm going to do a video on doing a shirt on this using this, okay? Um, it's not going it, to, it's not, I'm telling you, it's going to work just fine because it's like you're going to have the shirt. It's like fitting in a shirt. And when you fit in the shirt and then you have the front of the shirt and it's just going to embroider, it's going to make it a lot easier. Because see, if this is not here, and what happens is you have to kind of like turn the shirt inside out because if you, you know, you don't want the back of the shirt to be embroidered with the, the shirt and stuff. But I will demonstrate all that in, in a video and stuff. I hope to um, do the video this weekend so I could show you guys how you would do a shirt using a riser. And stuff. Um, let's see. I'll even let you pay. <laughs> Look at that. Matt even said he'll go to Lowe's and he'll help, he'll let you guys pick whatever color you want. So would you mind posting the link for the riser? I Lucky Lucy, I will I, in the description, I'm gonna update it and I will put Matt's um Etsy shop on the description so that you guys can um can reach out to him and stuff. Some of my customers also put their extra hoops in the empty space to the left. Oh, okay. So he says that sometimes if you have extra hoops, you can just place them here. Then you know what? That's a good idea. So when you're not using it, you know, you can take your five by seven hoop, your magnetic hoops or whatever, and you just put them right over here. So that's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. Thanks, Matt. I really appreciate that. Um, Matt, your shop is. KC Crafts Lights. No, Christian, it's um Matt's Woodworking Shop. And you can do it all in one name. And I'll make sure that I, I'll put it in the description um, when we're done, okay? So that way you, you guys have it. Um, no, he's, his shop is on Etsy. Yes. Drag above would make it much easier, okay? I use mine to monogram bags where it's great. Yes, Kathy's right. Um, that is another thing too. Um, you can get like tote bags. If you if you get tote bags and stuff like that, all you have to do is just fit in the tote bag and you can just embroider right on it and stuff. It makes it so much easier. 
Thanks so much for mentioning that, Kathy. I appreciate that. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> I love your red light video. <laughs> Um, let's see, Ellen, couldn't find the site on Etsy. Ella, I will make sure I post it. Don't worry. I will make sure I post it on there. Okay. And stuff. I, you know, and as a matter of fact, I will even post Matt's information on our Facebook group. Cause you know, um, you know, so that way you guys will know exactly where to find him. I'll put a link to his shop and stuff. Um, paint it red to match. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me see. I keep my embroidery thread in those Alex drawers from Ikea. Oh, okay. See, I like to have them out. I always like to have my embroidery threads out and stuff. And I, I have no business buying any more threads. I think I have enough because I bought that big box over there for the 200 and I think it's 250 of the small ones. And then I just bought a whole bunch of the big coats. So um, I, think, I, I think I am threaded up with all the different threads. So I don't need any more threads and stuff. Now what I need to do is get busy and start embroidering and put more products in my shop because I think I have about 100 and I think I have about 120 or 130 something like that in the shop. I want to at least you know, try to put at least 200 products on the shop and see if I can get that shop to be productive because like I said, I have to make sure that that shop is making some money so that that shop can help pay for this embroidery machine, you know? <laughs> Cuz these things are not cheap and stuff, which is why I'm kind of like, do I really need a 10 needle? So I'm going to see. I'll I'll see what I can do and stuff um let's see what else is out there um matt a lot of people are asking for your 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 shop and i don't worry i will put it out there i'm telling you i really really like it i'm really glad that i did this happy hour to show you guys um oh shannon said the towel's cute thank you shannon i mean i'm really really glad that i showed this because i mean when when the um when I did that embroidery happy hour and I talked about just that downsize and um and I don't know Cheryl if it was you but somebody was I never heard of an embroidery riser and you know and the thing is there's a lot of people out there that have single needle machines because they're you know let's be, let's be honest they are more affordable that a multi-needle machine. I mean, nobody has, you know, well, not that nobody, but not a lot of people have 10 grand to go out to buy an, a multi-needle machine, okay? That's a lot of money, okay? So especially if you're just starting out and, you know, to have this, you know, I, I just feel that that's just, this, you know, it just really helps. It really helps because it helps you really to get more out of your single needle embroidery machine. So to me, I, you know, I just, I think this was worth every penny. I mean, you know, I, it really, it, it is. I mean, absolutely no regrets. Absolutely no regrets. And I, and I think it, it looks nice. <laughs> I like it. It looks nice. I love the color and everything. I love it. So I'm just really, really excited about it and stuff. So guys, what are you saying in Spanish? Was I, was I speaking Spanish? I don't think I was speaking. Did I speak Spanish? Oh, when I said, oh, sofrito, sofrito. Okay. When I was talking about cooking, I guess, I did say sofrito. Sofrito is just a seasoning. Um, you know, my family's from Puerto Rico. So sofrito is a, is a seasoning that, that we, we make and... We kind of put it in everything. We put it in rice and meat and all that kind of stuff. So um, I think that's what I said. <laughs> oh, I found some Spanish sayings on Etsy. Oh, la, and um, if you're asking about la cocina, la cocina means, you know, the kitchen. The, you know, um, la cocina de abuela is the kitchen, grandma's kitchen. You know, that's that's all it is. And, and I like to do a lot of towels in Spanish because sometimes, you know, um, there's not a lot of products out there, you know, for, um, you know, in Spanish. So I do English and Spanish in my Etsy shop. 
Insta. So um, let's see. So I think it is nine o'clock, guys, and I am going. I am scrolling down because I want to make sure. Because you know how every embroidery happy hour, I always like to answer any questions that you guys have regarding sewing or embroidery and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Uh, am I missing anything? I don't think I am. I think you guys are good. Okay, but you guys know also that you know you can reach out to me. You know, um, you can reach me out on Facebook. I always like to, you know, I'm very, very active on the Facebook group. You know, I like to read all the posts and everything like that. Um, and so I know some of you guys also reach out to me sometimes when you need when you need help and you're stuck with something. I have no problem helping. That's okay. You know, feel free to reach out. Sometimes I can't respond right away because, you know, remember, I ain't retired yet. I, I got five years left before I can retire and everything. So, you know, just wanted to, you know. Um, let you guys know that. So anyway, I am so glad that you guys um, got to join, you know, spend this evening with me and, you know, watch me open this up. I, I'm super excited. I am in love with it. I love it, love it, love it. So, um, you know, and I can't wait for this weekend so that I can embroider my cousin's shirt using that. So um, that's going to be like really, really cool. And Mrs. Cheryl mentioned the tote bag. I think I'm going to go out and buy a tote bag and I'll probably import her a tote bag for her too. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I also have a Facebook group called Happy, um, no, oh my God, Embroidery Happy Hour Adventures and stuff. And um, I'm live every Friday at eight o'clock. And I also like to do a lot of videos on the SC1900, the single needle machine. Because I don't feel there's a lot of videos out there. So I just want to make sure that, you know, um, you know, that, you know, I like to focus on the beginners and I like to, you know, help people out with any of the issues that they have. So anyway, I thank you guys so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much for the support. And a special thank you to you, Matt, for making my um, embroidery riser. I love it, love it, love it. So you guys have a good evening. Please be safe out there and have a good night. So I'll see you guys next week on Friday. Bye.